Hello, my name is Sybil Luddington. I was born April 5th, 1761 in Dutchess County, New York. My parents were Colonel Henry Luddington and Abby Luddington, and I have 11 siblings that are all younger than me. My father was a militia commander for Dutchess County. In my childhood, I always loved to ride horses. When the Revolutionary War began, I wished I could fight in battles, just like boys my age. My parents always told me that I was too adventurous and needed to be more ladylike. Many people know about Paul Revere and his midnight ride. However, not nearly as many people know about me and my midnight ride. While Revere was a man when they warned the colonists, I was barely 16, and I also rode twice the distance on much rougher roads. On a cold and rainy night, we heard a knock on our door. It was a messenger, and he had bad news. British redcoats were burning supplies belonging to the colonists in Danbury, Connecticut. Colonel Luddington needed to round up his men fast. But how? The militia was made up of farmers spread out in the country, and my father couldn't alert them. He needed to stay behind and organize them. Then, I volunteered to go. It was my first chance to finally do my own fight against the horrid lobster backs of Britain. So for about six to eight hours, I rode my horse, Star, for 40 miles from Kent, to Mahopac, and finally to Stormville. I didn't get back home until dawn the next day. I picked up a stick to bang on people's doors and yelled, The British are burning Danbury! Muster at Luddington's! After my ride to war in the colonists, many things were done in honor of me. For example, on the shores of Lake Lanedia, there was a bronze statue of me riding my horse, Star, in 1975, there was a U.S. postage stamp issued in my honor. I married Edward Oakton and had one child named Henry. I passed away February 26, 1839. I encourage you to find out more about me and my midnight ride in your local library.